What's going on? How y'all doing? This video is going to be about remembering Miles Davis. He died 30 years ago uh, this coming Sunday, and I had to be real reflective. I was a huge fan of that man's music, um, books. I bought his biography with Quincy Torp, the one that he did, and I got that book back in 89, two years before he passed. Um, I remember I bought that CD, The Montrose, when he worked with Quincy Jones, he did his older songs. He never looked back. I always liked his audacity, his approach to music, his approach to his creativity, his spot on takes about how he felt about race and the world around him. And, you know, and, and it was so many different things. Um, you know, obviously uh, he was quite known for Kind of Blue, which is kind of like was like the equivalent to Michael Jackson's Thriller for in jazz because it was a hugely successful record. But he had so many incredible records. He changed the course of music. Distinctive trumpet player, distinctive band leader, a man of style, of vision, of creativity. And um, he understood space. He understood silence. He understood different nuances. You know, his music was an anger. It was a power. It was a, had a strength. It had a way of just uh, resonating with you. You know, when you talk about jazz musicians, if you're going to go subject to the saying jazz musicians and Mount Rushmore, people that stand out, he's one of the ones that's going to be appearing because he left a lasting impact. And um, I mean, when I got Dubop, that was his last record he did with Easy Moby back in 91. I remember, you know, and I was thinking, looking at the body of his work and all his records on Columbia Records, then the Warner Brothers Records, and then the soundtracks, Jake about Jack Johnson and uh, B. Brew record, you know, just so many albums, you know, Carnegie Hall, his live performances, um, you know, the different things that he did musically and sonically and how, you know, how he took a, a cover of uh, Someday My Prince Will Come and flipped it, you know, modernized it, gave it a tone. You just always knew his piercing, distinctive voice and on trumpet. And he was also tight on the synthesizer, too. I mean, he had a distinctive way in how he inspired and influenced different genres and artists in different backgrounds. And how he would cover music, too. Had a very distinctive way that he would do that, you know. I still remember listening to Sketches of Spain and the piercing of the horns and the tone. And you knew he had the control of that and the way he would bring that in. I mean, think about a man who had his impact, but... Had a John Coltrane and Cannonball Adderley, and then later a Michael Henderson and James and Toomey and a Chick Career and um, McCoy Tyner. And then you think about Herbie Hancock, you think about these Wayne Shorten and all these great talents that came through playing with this man and dynamics and the direction, you know. Um, his work with Bill Evans, you know, you think about. How he led the he led the charge with the music. It flowed through him. He had that, you know. He went from uh, playing with Charlie Bird Parker and he did things with Dizzy Gillespie. He came through with his peers and people that he was, but he made inroads. Just incredible talent, incredible talent, and just want to remember thirty years since his passing. He definitely left a lasting impact, and um. One of the most important musicians ever. And I always remember Miles Dewey Davis. One of the greatest ever. Put some respect and listen to his music if you have not. Please hit like, subscribe, or welcome thoughts and comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And this is a man's music that I would definitely, definitely tell you. And also, just remembering him and the late, great Cicely Tyson. They were married and a lot of incredible creativity. He just, everything that he did was reflection on so much. The black experience, his experiences abroad in France and different. And the way it just, he just kept channeling new energy. You know, he was a musical beacon of light. So just always remember Miles Davis 30 years later. Peace.